my eraser in there. Put the two pillows. Okay, well, these can't open right now. So, anyway, this one's going to be mine. And this is... Okay. I always trying to take it off, but it's going to have to stay right where it's at, sis. Because I'm not doing it. So, this is just my basket, his basket. So this is super, I'm super OCD guys, super OCD. So don't mind me, I have like all the weirdest looking. Yes, there's our, so Lele is 20 minutes away, guys, I'm so excited. So. So. Love. Yeah, I have OCD bags. Like I like everything organized. Um, hey, the bins were five dollars. Five dollars, y'all. Five. And like this one, I'm gonna put soap in it. This one, like little bar soaps. I'm gonna get one more. But it's just to keep everything just nice and organized. So this would be for like toiletries. tree. What face wash do I use? I use Clinique. What body wash do I use? Um, so I have very sensitive skin and like for us like ladies that can't use soap, um, soap or whatever down there. I mean, I use Olay. I switch, I like Dove as well. Um, so I'm like a soap person too. a good body lotion i have like sensitive skin so i use this clinique face wash yes um clinique the little the clinique face wash i used um on instagram not too long ago so so this is how my basket will look i don't know if i should put these in the shower or not I'm gonna add more stuff to it. But you see, super organized. And then, yes, this is the best lotion ever. And Matt, it doesn't have like the scent that you guys might want. Cause I like my Bath and Body Works stuff too, but look at my skin. Look, this is what happens to my skin. Let me take the filter off so you guys can see. Okay, you guys see my skin? I don't know what happens to my skin, but I get bad, 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 bad breakouts on my chest and I don't know why. So I'm gonna go to a dermatologist and figure out why. Um, I'm thinking it's my detergent, I'm not sure. So I can't use anything to its scent. So this is what my side, his side. So let me make that very clear tonight. <laughs> Put it down like that. Look how cute this is. Yeah, you can put it all the way back. Super organized. And I'm gonna get two, two and two, two and two right there. Um, so I gotta go back and get some more. But Um, no, the dove is, the dove I have isn't, sense, these are all non-sensitive stuff. I used that already. 
I use that. Okay, guys, so has anybody ever used this toothpick, toothbrush? Because I've never tried it. I just bought it today. This toothbrush was $100. Well, like 80 something dollars. It's almost $100. Lele's room is almost ready. I'm still waiting for her bed to get here. So I ordered the bed that everybody wanted me to order. I just want to see what the hype is on this toothbrush. You have the pink one? I have the pink one too. Okay. It's cute. So do you keep it plugged in? Space for more by adding storage shelves. Storage or shelf. Alright. Alright, so is this supposed to be plugged in, y'all? Yes, a hundred dollars. I got this cute thing too. I don't know where to put it. Where should I put this? I put this open in the middle or above my um hmm. Yeah, I got those I got these baskets at Marshall's. I just told you. Y'all, I got ADHD, so don't pay me no money. I know I keep like, I got ADHD bad. <laughs> so pay me no mind. On the sink, but I already have like this on the sink. So should I put it like in the, you know what I'm saying? There's like too much going on on the sink. So, what should I do? I got OCD bad, I said. OCD, ADHD. Exactly. Too much clutter. It can't hang. Put the candle. I don't like clutter. Oh, okay. Maybe I could put it right here. That was a good idea. Okay. What about right here? Or no? <laughs> I don't like that. Maybe the toothbrushes can go there. What do y'all think? Because they have to be plugged in. So what if I keep the toothbrushes there and keep it like that? No, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, well, where the hell should I put it? All right, well, I need just help, because I don't know. I'm not an interior designer. This is good for me, so help us out. Sorry. This shirt is like, this is my man's shirt, to be honest. I don't even know why. The candle. Under the sink. No. It doesn't. I don't want my shower cluttered neither. 
Maybe I should just put it in the guest bathroom. But I just thought like putting perfumes, my perfumes on it would be cute. Okay, so should I put, all right, I got an idea. All right, now what if I just did it like this? like that and then maybe put leave this tray for the toothbrushes and stuff i actually lost 15 pounds so i don't know what you're talking about but i'm in the gym every day baby okay all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna put it all together real quick. Give me a second. Let's just play with it a little bit. I hired an interior designer because see, this is what I want. I can't do. This is like I be trying, but it just doesn't be registering for me. Like this one. Really nice. I weigh um, 148 now. But I am gonna lie, I ate really unhealthy today and that's about to stop, so. I see you on my live. <laughs> I wasn't gonna notice you. How tall am I? I'm five one. Alright, that's the pink one. Well, that's because I was in the gym. I was almost 165, guys. Like 165 was like because I was really depressed and when I'm usually people that are depressed don't eat. I'm the person that eats when I'm stressed out, so I gain a lot of weight. So I just try to keep myself in the gym as much as I can. Like I haven't been in the gym in two days, so I'm gonna definitely go. brushes in my life because I just spent a hundred dollars on each one almost well 85 they're at Target they're called the lean or like they're like 80 something dollars so I'm gonna tell you how they are we'll see how they work on these teeth You should build a gym in the house. Yeah, I bought some workout stuff. I'm about to do my meditations in the morning. So if you guys want to join me and meditate with me in the mornings, we're going to do that. I got some uh, meditation cards. I got some um, a yoga mat to just meditate. I got some vibes going. So I'm going to start that once I get settled in. Whatever. So. Why was I depressed? Um... I was depressed because basically I just felt like giving up some days and I really just wanted to give up on everything to be honest and then um, 
you know, that was just the devil trying to be busy. And um, I just started praying and praying more. And, yeah, I snapped out of it. The devil likes confusion. Okay. What about this? Does that look bad or tacky? I don't like this. Maybe I should keep the mouthwash under the sink. Right? Yeah. So, like, yeah, I just really felt like... I felt just, like, giving up. It was just, like, everything was just going so wrong for me. And it should be, like, why, how, what now? And then, like, people don't understand. Like, we... Social media really affects people, and it affects me. Sometimes, like, you know, maybe times I want to wake up and just hope that I'm not on the blogs. Like, sometimes I just want to have a normal life. So it's like, even if I'm doing good, I'm doing bad. And if I'm doing bad, they just want to praise that. So it just be like, Lord, what's going to happen today? So, but this was more so like, I had a depression just from like my personal life, just stuff I had going on, um, you know. So, but I got it together because God is good and God is never going to fail me. So, but the devil likes to be busy all the time. Just talk to God. But, um, I mean, I'm on social media because it's part of my life. Like, if I could just go and disappear from it, I would. But, you know, unfortunately, like, you know, I make a living from my platform and from my brand. So, you know... And I love everybody that supports me. And I love everybody that I get to, like, you know, share my life with. But when the negative comes, I shut down. And I'm working on not letting it get to me. But so that was one part of it. And then, like, I just was in a dark, dark space. Have you ever just been in a dark space before where you're just so confused? You're just like, okay, what now? What am I doing next? So I was like that for a few months. And, um... Yeah, like, I just learned a lot with my businesses and things like that. So, I'm just at a point where I'm taking a break from business stuff, e-commerce, and I have my brand. And, like, I was explaining to people on Instagram the other day, um, Boss Batty is not a business. It's a brand, and it's more for mental health, you know, uplifting other women, um, Pretty much just helping other women build their confidence, like, you know, like at a point in time when I wanted to give up. So I created a boss baddie, manifesting. So that's when I got into manifesting everything, praying, writing down goals. So and that's just what helped me get out of it. So that's why I created the brand Boss Baddie for those that's asking, oh, another business. No, it's not a business. Um... I just think of things that I would that I use, like the t-shirts. I just was, you know, one of my favorite scriptures from the Bible. I made it um, um I put it on a shirt and I put a boss on there. So just to remind you that you guys are bosses and um my bath salts. So whenever my energy is feeling low, I just hop in the bath, pour a little salt in there and cleanse. And manifest. So that's what Boss Baddies is for. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring like awareness to that because depression is real. And make a YouTube, I think you'll do it. Yes, I'm working on my communication skills because y'all, I have social anxiety really bad. And y'all don't know that about me. That's something. Um, that y'all don't know. The ba the bath salts are on my um site. Give you some advice on how to be successful. Listen. Grab the life of a boss baddie ebook. 
I got all the tips in there. But no, I don't have my salon. No, I don't have my recovery house. Like at one point in life, God, I think, had stripped me clean. Like when I mean clean, he like stripped me down with nothing. Not like financially, I was still good. But what happened was I lost everything in the front of me. Like that wasn't serving my purpose. And um, I was, that was my part of my depression. I was like wondering like, wow, like I just lost $300,000 or in like two, three months. And I was just so confused. Like why I keep putting in money and just losing and losing and losing. And it was just like, it was just the people I had around me, the people I had working for me, the people that just, just wasn't good for me. And um, God didn't want those people around me. So he removed and he, he cleaned the house. Like, and before you know it, everything was just like, Where's everybody? So it opened my eyes up to a lot of stuff. It humbled me in so many different ways because it definitely was a, a great investment. Um, it was, it sucked because everything was going so good. And then I went to Egypt and then somebody, you know, whatever. I don't even want to get into all that, but it just wasn't my purpose. Um, so he just was revealing what was for me, what wasn't for me. And um, so now I'm here and it's been a year. And so like when I see people like, oh, your business fail. Oh, she fails at all her businesses. No, sometimes it takes one or two to three times to keep trying. I had a business at 16 years old. y'all. I had my own shop. I didn't know what I was doing. I stopped doing that. I had an online skin company called Coco Me Skin. And I just didn't, you know, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't have a passion for it. Um, I was more into like hosting. So I stopped, I took a little break. And then, um, my friend Brandon and I, we created Blex Beauty and we did like the waist trainers and the waist stuff. And we had some skin stuff and that was just, you know, something we just wanted to do. And then I got, I fell in love with the recovery stuff. And so I just kept trying to figure out what it is God wanted me to do other than be Alexa Sky, like what business was going to be for me and so I really thought like you know the salon was gonna be that I went back home during the pandemic and I opened up a salon and I'm like why did I open up a salon like I don't even do hair guys <laughs> I got my hair done so much that I wanted to open up a salon but this is why in my book I said don't ever get an overhead because it was like I had a salon and my bills were so crazy like, y'all don't understand. I was making so much money, but by the time I paid everybody out, I was left with crumbs. So it was like, okay, so am I going to keep being stupid and keep paying this salon that's not making me no money whatsoever? So um, so I was just like, listen, like, this is not going to make sense. Like, I had two options. It was like, okay, keep it and wa like wait for it to keep growing. But it was like, literally... If I made five six thousand, then it would just like okay, payroll would be like three four thousand, then I'm left with a thousand, so that just wasn't making sense. So I was like, this doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna close this, and then like I said, um, with the recovery, it just wasn't for me. I mean, it was a great investment. I do recommend it. It is a headache, but it was a great experience, and you just gotta have the right team of people. Um, the right time of people running stuff for you. Like, with my busy life, like, being on the road, trying to run a business, and having an overhead, e-commerce is probably the best way. And that's just my best advice. So, and no, I don't have OnlyFans anymore. So, that's, I feel like that was just the easy way out. Yeah, it was good, quick money, but that's the easy way out. And I'm in a relationship, so I can't have that. I'm not about to be having an OnlyFans and have a man. So it was OnlyFans and my relationship. So this just, I'm just explaining it because I just be seeing certain things and y'all just don't know like business is not easy. It's like a gamble. So you got to just take a chance and sometimes it'll work out and sometimes it won't. You just got to be prepared because I took some losses, but 
You got to just keep going and keep pushing until you find the right business that makes sense. I definitely hustle for my daughter, for sure, 100%. But... Um, yeah, well, I just rather not even be a part of the OnlyFans, like, community, to be honest. Like, I'd rather just not. Yes, I never gave up. That's one thing I don't do. It, trust me, y'all. I told y'all, it's so many days I just wanted to give up, and I just did it. Like, because I have a baby girl that's depending on me. And that's not fair. That's selfish. So, no. So, how am I going to make money now? I'm just going to leave it in God's hands. And just, I'm just on this journey. Who knows? I don't know. I got, I'm blessed. I don't let money run and control my mind. I love money. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Money fixes and pays for the things that we want. But, I just go to sleep and I pray and I just ask God to open more doors and more opportunities. And I'm just, you know, going to move in silence. Yeah, my booking is always coming through. Like, that's cool. But I'm 27, guys. <laughs> like, I've been hosting since I was 18. Like, oof. So I think my mental and my peace of mind was more important right now so in getting like settled in getting my home with my man and my daughter and getting her situated and just the stability so now the stability is in motion then you can focus on what's next yeah i'm 27 so yeah and then that's why i created boss fatty and i just want to have like fun and I want to enjoy it and I want to help other people um not even just people just other women moms just keep you guys in a positive mindset because I'm telling you like I don't come out here and talk a lot and if I do usually it's about some drama and I'm trying to stay away from that I don't want to be this I don't want this to be the only time I'm on the internet is because something negative like I want the positive to show but of course that never happens but when it's so much positive people are only going to have a choice but to respect what i have going on so um that's why i created that brand no i'm not done hosting and um i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you guys just go on there even if you don't purchase anything from me that's okay um but I do recommend you guys going on there and just reading the positive quotes every day. Because you might be down. You might be feeling like giving up. Just go on there and I might be speaking some, you know, some jewels to you guys. And that's what I think. I have the perfect nose. Thank you. But, um, yeah, they do. The People do try to tear me down. But guess what? I am covered and I am God's child and can't nobody tear God's child down. It don't matter if you guys throw bricks and stones. You can't. Y'all knock me down two times, I'm coming back up ten. So I just want anybody that's watching this that think that they're, you know, like can knock me down or anybody that comes from fake pages and speak evil on me or my family. Like, listen, I, I am covered. My family is covered, my daughter is covered, my relationship is covered, my man is covered, we're all covered. And we will send back everything back to the sender and we rebuke it. And we are covered by the blood of Jesus. So guess what? You can't win. So. And we return it back to the sender tonight. Period. And um, I need to get a chemical peel. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah guys so i really it's so crazy because i come on live i was really trying to ask y'all's opinion on my setup and god just told me to talk to you guys tonight he wanted me to talk to somebody on this live that's going through whatever they're going through i don't know who it is but somebody on here is going through something and they feel like giving up or they feel like they don't have any purpose but you do you definitely do and i don't know who it is but it's a girl it's a girl on here she's in her 20s but i just felt that and i don't know why but hopefully my message helped you tonight and god loves you and just pray and don't ever give up it's very no i'm not doing that new nope. i want some wine right now i don't have any wine i'm going through it yes it's you listen well we gonna pray tonight we're gonna just ask god to cover everybody on this live we're gonna ask him to just protect us you're welcome protect us let us see what's not for us remove anything out of our lives that's not for us open the door show us which road to go down and we just gonna ask him to protect us at all times try to say what about us <laughs> evie i don't <laughs> y'all it's so crazy because i don't um i get a little nervous when i pray so like my little my way of praying is i just talk because i i'm not gonna say i sound crazy praying i just don't know how to like pray that way so I just talk. So I definitely. Ooh, who, ha, who has a wine? I need some wine. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, TV. But um, yes. I'll open up more um, about my praying. My daughter will be here in any minute. What time is it, guys? Anybody have the time? I live on a farm. I live on a farm so far away that their Uber driver is not coming here. Like, I have no neighbors. Ten thirty. Guys, I gotta um, I gotta um, get out of here, my baby. Hold on. Yeah, I think so. I gotta redirect the um.